all of cloud so let me open it let me do it for zoom So this is a cloud free image we find out in here but first time we find out that lot of cloud you can see this type of pixel automatically remove when i apply the cloud remover function and this technique is very helpful when you want to work for the coastal area or river bank okay because this type of place we don't find out the very less cloud cover image is not available because they are already uh, for the cloud formation or cloud place so that's why we don't find out the cloud uh, free image so then we just apply the cloud remover function and this type of unnecessary cloud automatically remove and then we find out that very neat and clean satellite imagery okay. so now we can easily use this satellite imagery to make the different types of remote sensing work ndvi or land use land cover or lst everything can do you can see first image there are the lot of cloud but when i apply the cloud remover function it automatically remove all of cloud and we can find out the very neat and clean satellite imagery so you can also apply this process for your own study area i hope it also works there is no problem okay so any question you can ask me please please Uh, here, could we use uh, the cloud remover for uh, one image? Yes, it was satellite imagery. So basically, not for the one imagery. One imagery, in this case, we are just add. You can see here. We can add it in our image collection. Okay. Suppose in this image, without median and clip function, it's just a collection. Okay. But when I apply the median. Then it only for the single image. But in this case, after applying the cloud remover function in my image collection, then I add the median. Then I create the median composite. Okay. So now if I just check all of images, suppose if I just simply print the image, image without median, just I uncheck it. Just uncheck it. Just uncheck it and apply so now it worked including all of images all of images including all of images mainly 64 images including in here okay. 64 images okay. and this 64 images we are just applying for the median composite yes please any question please can we use the last sun image of 2013 uh, from 2003 and 2000, uh, 2013 and we use also all there is an, another function for that to solve uh, this noise from the, from the uh, which type noise it's the cloudy pixel or this one or a scale line error it's miss plus miss pixel because they can also share these things also with me after completing that class then i also try to check it what is the problem so basically there's a lot of problem we face the pro uh, imagery sometime we find out that some uh, line or scan line error problem sometimes also face the gap filling problem we basically lens at five seven um, basically lens at seven, seven is also have this type of problem then lens at five okay so you can share with me then i'm going to try to check the what's the problem we face for that 
So this is the process for Sentinel-2 satellite imagery. But when you work for the Landsat, we also apply the same process also in the Landsat. So I'll show the one example in just a minute for Landsat. Yes, please. I think he means uh, the, the problem of crop filling uh, error after uh, producing all of the large stuff and units, and then we have to remove probably a few If there is any possibility, Okay, no problem. I'll share with the code. I also try to check it and further I also try to give you the solution about that. No problem. Okay, that Landsat imagery. Same procedure also apply for the Landsat. Suppose um, just I open the Landsat. So this image collection will be used in here. And this image collection also get this type of band. So basically this band name is the QA pixel, QA pixel, pixel quality attribute generated from the CF max algorithm, and it has some. We can find out the lot of bit for the landsat. You can see for the different purpose for the cloud, cloud shadow, or snow. Basically, for the glacier, when you want to work for the snow area, so sometimes snow is the destroy your pixel. We don't understand about that, so we can easily remove the snow also from here. Okay, and also you can see the cloud confidence, cloud shadow confidence, also you can see the snow and ice confidence, cirrus confidence. Okay, we find out this type of bit number for the landscape. So now if you want to work with that, so just I try to use the same code. So just copy. Just copy from here. Okay, and I want to use the same code also in here. And I will apply it for the Dhaka city. Suppose just just I apply it for the Dhaka city, and I put the variable name as a ry. So now further, just add a layer. So put here map dot add layer and call the image and click the one also just put here map dot center object object is ROI so you find out this type of imagery and this image is not much cloudy so suppose I take the all of cloud cover level okay suppose just i simply remove this one okay so it means that i am not filtering any cloud cover level it including all of cloud day level okay so just like try to all of cloud emails and then make the composite and make the and display the image right so it look like that so now i try to add the visualization suppose red green and blue is 98 percent and apply so you find out this type of imagery and this image is not much cloudy for this place okay well, if you want you'll seek for the coastal area it also more better suppose i try to upload for okay so i take the so i take a random place in the coastal area or river bank suppose i want to need this satellite imagery for this study area for this area so just i click on here and then suppose i take just i take so this is my study area in this time Dhaka city basically it's not the cloudy region okay just i remove the previous roi and I set the new ROI in here. ROI. So now I want to get the image for this study area. Look like that. You try to just click on here. And then put here suppose red, green, and blue. In this time, if you check your image, 
so not mass but some cloudy you also find out in here you can see this type of cloud mm -hmm. also some cloud white color pixel you find out in here Let me apply the cloud remove function here and then we'll check what happened for that okay so let's go for doing these things we are applying the same function in here so just i copy the previous code and try to apply in here just copy and paste here so in this case we need to change the band name okay, because it's a different band or it's this band name is the qa pixel for landsat you have pixel the like call and then put here i'll say change the bit number so basically bit number we change for uh this bit number suppose cloud and cloud shadow i want to remove so bit three and four i want to use so for that just put here the bit suppose bit three just put here bit three and bit four okay just to change the bit number otherwise and also change the bit uh, band name okay? and otherwise everything will be same so now just try to call this collection so i try to copy it and then paste here and then just apply the dot map function because i want to connect this function with my collection just call this cloud remover function just copy and connect in so now run the code and check what happened we we'll also add the layer name also more better suppose i put here oh. Okay. so now if you just check it suppose red green and blue first is tracing 98 percent apply we find out this is the cloud free and also check the cloud image we say already set it in here so put at the red then put at the green and put at the blue it's still 98 percent apply so now you can see what the difference between the two imagery this is the cloud image and this is the cloud free image okay. So all of unnecessary cloudy pixel automatically removed, and we find out that we need 10 clean satellite imagery. So it, where you, when you find a lot of cloudy region for your study area, so you can just simply apply this technique, and then we can get the very need 10 clean satellite imagery. Basically, for the river bench and coastal aerosol area, we find out this type of problem. So simply apply the cloud remover function. For landsat or sentinel and they apply the cloud max and we can easily get the very neat and clean satellite imagery okay so any question you can ask me please So if there is no question you also try it and for the space any problem i also guide you so now we talk about the dim data okay so basically digital elevation model we can easily find out that different satellite in google earth engine so very popular satellite imagery nasa sr dm dim we have tried to use and as well as i also try to show you for aster how we can easily apply the aster satellite imagery to make that dim okay so first of all nasa is our team so just